Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to To Be Determined. Today we're going to be going over a concept for a new Spider Slayer update. We recently got Blaze Slayer added to the game and it's been a while now since we got Revenant Tier 5 added. So I thought I'd make a little concept video. So if you do enjoy, please remember to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. We're almost at 1000 subs. I appreciate you guys. Let's get into the video. All right, so the first thing we're gonna be talking about is recipes. So we currently have the recipe book, which shows you all the different Slayer recipes. This is the one for Zombie Slayer. So we've got almost four full rows of things that were added. I believe the Wand of Atonement, the Warden Helmet, the Axe of the Shredded, and the Reaper Orb were all added with the tier five update. And these are some pretty expensive items. Like for the Axe of the Shredded, you need a Reaper Falchion, four RNG drops, and four stacks of Revenant Viscera. A 50 mil item, pretty expensive and then the reaper orb which is eight rng drops a 27 mil item the warden helmet an rng drop a ridiculous amount of rotten flesh and diamonds and an even more ridiculous amount of iron 150 million coin item right here and then the wand of atonement which is not too expensive five mil item very useful now all of these items do have a place in the game as of right now in almost every high level player's hot bar you're gonna find a wand of atonement and warden helmet is still pretty meta for damage dealing reaper orb like all accessories is necessary for the end game and then we've got axe of the shredded which is really good for dragon fights and a bunch of other things even in dungeons it's pretty good so even though these items came out quite a long time ago they shook up the game then and they're still in use now so that's kind of what i want to happen with spider slayer when we get spider tier 5 but you can see these are all our recipes we've got almost a full page of recipes and then for wolf slayer almost a full page enderman slayer we have over a page and blaze slayer we have almost a full page and then you go to spider slayer and we've got half a page of recipes and let's face it none of this was really ever meta other than the spider artifacts and the tarantula helm for mid game players the high level stuff that came from this was not very usable like i did a video on mosquito bow a little while back it's not that good and it never really was people generally preferred runan's bow over mosquito bow back in the day and now we have terminator and juju it's just never been the best bow in the game and then you We've got the other items that are just used for fighting tarantula specifically like the scorpion foil you deal 250 percent damage against spiders that's pretty good but just like pooch sword and the reaper falchion only good against a specific mob granted flat catchers are still in use today i'd say this is about the most valued item from this slayer tarantula helmet's not bad but it's like ridiculously cheap so it's basically a knockoff of the warden helmet at this point so we need some new things to spice it up a little bit with all the other slayers they kind Kind of had a theme like zombie slayer was about having a helmet for healing and just healing items in general it was the meta for healing items and then necromancy with the reaper scythe when t5s came out they swapped it up a little bit they kept the healing item theme a little bit but then they added the warden helmet which is a complete damage helmet it's not made to heal you like the reaper mask is and then axe of the shredded also for damage so i'd kind of like to see a turnaround a little bit on spider slayer as of right now the theme is kind of ranged as far as the rng drops go and then also focusing on minions a few talismans and then some really not that bad armor pieces when they first came out these pieces changed the game and tarantula boots are still good for a lot of things fighting drop ships and kudra and other things like that so i would kind of like them to keep a little bit of this but move their focus a little bit like the mosquito bow costs 11 percent of your max mana and heals you for twice the mana cost i really like that concept of a lifesteal type of weapon so if they did like a new short bow that's not like terminator or juju but it's specifically for healing like it doesn't deal damage hardly at all but you just spam it and if you hit your targets then it heals you for very large amounts i think that could be really really useful especially in dungeon plus it wouldn't mess up doing the fire badge challenges because you can't really hit mobs from that location anyways so it's not gonna mess that up another thing they could do is add more minion items we don't really have a slayer that focuses on minions so I think they should start focusing on that a little bit more. With this Slayer, it would be a really nice change. Maybe they add an item like Transmission Tuner that you can put on a minion that makes it go like 
5% faster, you can only put three or four of them on it. That would really change the game for Inferno minions, but they would definitely have to make it a pretty rare drop. It couldn't be as common as transmission tuners. They might could even make it a minion drop. They could completely rework tarantula minions to be more like Inferno minions, or they could even do it so that they add a tier 12 minion and that minion can only drop those items that give plus 5% speed to minions. So tiers one through 11 work like they always have, once you get to tier 12, you have a chance to drop this item that boosts minion speed. I know a lot of this stuff would potentially break the economy. There would have to be a few changes here and there for sure. They, of course, need some tweaking, but I think the idea is, is cool. Now, the other thing that Zombie Slayer Tier 5 brought was the Reaper armor set. So I think Zombie Slayer Tier 5 would also have to bring in a newer armor set that's like a buffed version of this set and the extra bonuses are on tarantula boots tarantula chest plate and tarantula helmet i think it could be cool if they add another one to the upgraded version of the tarantula legging maybe it's similar to bat person armor and reduces your cooldown for spider boots and for grappling hook so your mobility is a little bit better i think that could be useful they would also have to add another full set bonus because that's what the reaper chest plate did compared to the revenant armor you see the reaper armor has a full set bonus called Enrage as well as Trolling the Reaper and Zombie Bulwark, whereas Revenant Armor only has Trolling the Reaper and Zombie Bulwark. So the next level of Tarantula would have to add another option, another full set bonus. I think it wouldn't be that bad of an idea to make the set give you an immunity to Venom and then have the Tarantula Tier 5 kind of similar to Arachne, where she's got a venom shot that will do a ridiculous amount of poison damage and maybe the full set bonus of the next piece gives you some reduction to that damage now of course there would be workarounds to be able to fight the boss without that set most likely using a cow head but it would be really really slow until you got your hands on this upgraded set which is kind of the way that i think it should be you want the high level players to be able to fight the boss right off the bat but they need to struggle with it until they can get their hands on this new where armor pieces because right now the tarantula tier 4 is not that great you can literally just hyperion spam it into the ground so i think for a tier 5 it would have to have a lot more health probably 10 million similar to the revenant horror and it would also have to have some magic damage reduction because right now it's ridiculous how fast you can just hyperion spam a tarantula into the ground so there'd have to be some more mechanics around it but i think venom shot is a good place to start some magic damage reduction and then i I think having a few one-shot mechanics like tier 4 void glooms and revenant horrors and blaze slayer all of those have i think tarantula tier 5s are going to need that because this step up in difficulty needs to be really big we need to have people trying to figure out strategies for this for at least a week or so ideally now i think it wouldn't be a bad idea to add another version of scorpion foil a higher level of this but it would still need to be wooden so you could still put a wooden singularity on it but maybe it's also crafted with wooden singularities so by the time you put the wooden singularity and a recom on it it would be developed divine rarity which would be pretty cool so i think you would want to have a really difficult rng drop for this like make this our new warden helmet make this sword insanely good we haven't had a crazy sword added to the game in a very long time the last good sword that we had was hyperion or valkyrie whichever one by adding a new sword into the mix maybe that's not as good as valkyrie but similar like make it deal a little bit more damage than valkyrie but not have any ferocity i think that could be cool they could also do some things with this heart stopper ability maybe they add more tickers and those would remove the venom touch effect that the tier 5 tarantula would have and maybe the armor set doesn't give you immunity maybe it just makes you more resistant to it but having the scorpion foil would completely remove that venom touch so maybe the boss does it like every 30 seconds or something and it stacks and so you have to let it stack for maybe four five times and then you right click remove it and the poison is all gone you can heal back up and then continue fighting the boss i think that could be a cool concept so every 30 seconds the venom shot is attached to you and it stacks every 30 seconds another stack is added on and it deals more and more damage to you and so eventually it starts getting you down to where it's taking like a heart and a half per second so then you just right click with your scorpion foil 
it removes all of those stacks of Venom Touch, and you can use your Wand of Atonement, heal back up. Or you can use that short bow concept and just spam the boss and heal yourself up with that way. Now, some other things they could add is an upgraded accessory. I think getting a new legendary accessory from this wouldn't be too bad. They could make one just like the Reaper Orb where it's all digested mosquitoes. So you take eight digested mosquitoes and you craft it together and it makes one mosquito orb or whatever. Or they could add a whole new pet where you take eight digested mosquitoes, put it around a super egg and you can craft a mosquito pet or something that could be pretty cool and maybe it heals you based on how many mobs are around you there's so many different things they can do with this boss they could take from arachne and have it split into a bunch of different smaller versions of itself and they deal a ridiculous amount of damage so during that phase you're going to need to have that digested mosquito pet equipped and then it'll heal you up based on how many mobs are near you so it would basically have an ability similar to swarm but just for healing instead of for damage. I think there's a lot of cool concepts out there for this, and I know I haven't said all of them today. So if you guys have any concepts or ideas that you think that they could add, please let me know. I know a lot of people want an upgraded grappling hook, which I think could also be really cool. Maybe they add a way to upgrade your tarantula pet to mythic or a spider pet to mythic. Either way, that would be a really nice way to increase how fast you can spawn the boss. But I'm curious what you guys think. Please let me know what you think down in the comments. I try and reply to every single comment that I get. And if you did, enjoyed today's video please remember to leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more concept videos try and get this video to 100 likes i'm setting a like goal i haven't done this in a while but we haven't hit 100 likes in a long time so that would be amazing i hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day i'll see you in the next video god bless